So I got this question from one of you guys who sent it in through my Facebook page na personal. It's www.facebook.com slash atelaikamaravilla. And you asked me for advice on how to get more likes and followers online. And uh, this is actually a question na ilang beses na nitinanong sa akin ng ilan sa inyo, especially the younger kids. And uh, I figured maybe I should start answering this on a video instead of just typing up my answer. So this is my answer, alright? Paano ba makakuha ng maraming likes, followers, subscribers online? Uh, I think the question uh, kung bakit ito tinatanong sa akin is because I have a rather small following online on YouTube and on Facebook. And uh, the kid in particular who asked me that question uh, wanted to build a page then for uh, herself. And then you can your name, yeah. But um, basically, she wants na to gain some recognition for her work or appreciation or likes or just like that. And uh, here's my answer. Okay, I I don't have a step by step plan on how you can do that. In fact, I don't even want to talk about it really. Because I don't believe that uh, that is the right question to ask. Now, why am I saying that? I don't want to sound condescending or ayo ayo ko na isipin na para pinapagalitan ko kayo, lalo na yung mga younger kids who are just really interested in gaining more, um, ano ba? Gaining more influence online. It's actually a rather um, smart thing then to do. Because I think what hap what happened with me was because of uh, that, ano ba? That small influence that I have online, I've. Um, managed to maybe get some speaking engagements. I managed to um, do certain things, even maybe write yung some of the books that I did, and basically live off of what I do online. But okay, I think one thing that I na gusto ko emphasize is that all of those things, yung money, recognition, appreciation. Um, recognition na dito sa nangyayari lahat and yung following sabi na natin yung fame although i don't like that word that much i like influence better all of that is ano is just um, a happy side effect of what i am doing now what am i talking about it's this okay i already talked about it in one of my sunday motivation videos yung hammer or house um, i think what you need to do really okay is find your passion, find your goal, find your calling, and if you are doing what God intends you to do in your life, all of that, yung money, yung recognition, itong influence, all of that would just come naturally. You don't need to change, chase after that. Now, why am I saying that? Na parang magical naman nung sinabi, parang napaka super natural naman nung sinabi mo, hindi naman practical. Uh, I, I'm saying that because that was what happened in my life. All of this, all of the opportunities sabi na natin that are coming or uh, that happened in, not in, in the past are just byproducts of me trusting God and obeying God. Now, why am I saying that? Because see, that is exactly what I want for you guys. I don't want you to chase after fame na parang, oh, if I post a selfie like this, if I show a little bit of cleavage or if I... Um, pass around a meme or a joke that can be mean to others, pero talaga marami ang magsishare or magla-like, then that would be good for me. Um, and I see that a lot online. In fact, I know of uh, certain kahit mga online creators on YouTube, on Facebook, and everything else who use mean jokes or who push people down just to get more attention or more likes. And I don't want that for you guys. I want you to be a positive person. I want you to be uh, a Christian in and out of church. And so, um, I don't want to chase you to chase after fame. Instead, find a niche. Find something that you can do. Um, Andy Stanley, Pastor Andy Stanley said, said it well when he said, na, na, he said this, eh, do something, do only the things that only you can do. Do only the thing that only you can do. Um, maybe I'm paraphrasing a bit then, no? Pero ang ibig sabihin lang nun is, if you find yung design word for you, that is usually something na only you can do. Ibig sabihin, ikaw lang ang may kayang gumawa. And if that is the only thing that you do, which is yung, ginawa, yung design word for you, uh, then that is the best way to maximize your life. Do only the thing that only you can do. Okay? And I think that happened in my life. Because if you think about it, what I'm doing is rather strange or unique. I make videos online, I post video lessons, which is not something that uh, 
I think everyone does or everyone can do. And in that way, um, that is how God led people into my life and that is how I can positively influence other people. So instead, uh, when I started this, and one of my friends actually asked me just a few days ago, naisip mo ba that you will get this level of influence when you started making videos? And my answer really was no. Uh, I never pictured na aabot sa ganitong point na maybe there are hundreds or thousands of people who watch the videos that I make. All I wanted to do when I started out was to help one person. That one person became a group of people. And then those group of people, nung nakapasanan sila ng test or nagkaroon ako ng kahit papano positive influence in their lives, they shared it to their friends. They led other people to my page or to my, my videos. And then that community basically grew and that became Team Laika. They even named themselves, they called themselves Team Laika and that is how it got its name. And again, the goal or my part in that entire process was never to gather people to to uh, hook people in. It was never my, my job. And I was never really affected that much by it. Because you'd see creators or you'd see people on social media who get frustrated when, for example, bumaba ang mga views, bumaba ang mga subscribers, or may mga nagbabasya ka nila online. I think part of the reason why it pains them so much, bakit masakit masyado yun, is because part of yung goals nila or yung motivation nila for doing what they do is fame. So when you no longer get fame or you no longer get uh, positive recognition for what you do, nakakapagod. But in my case, hindi siya masyadong nakakapagod that way kasi ang goal ko lang really talaga is to help kahit just one person. Uh, maybe help someone pass the test, improve their lives, improve the lives of, lives of their families. And when I do that, kahit on a small scale, I'm already happy. So he was burnout, out, he was stressed, it was frustration if you just do what you do, not for anything else, but just for the sake of following God's call for your life. Again, money, fame, recognition, appreciation, all of those things are just healthy, are just fun, fun side effects of doing God's will for your life. So, to you, my young Padawan who asked that question, how do I get more likes or influence on Facebook or on social media? Uh, ask the right question. Ask this, what is something that only you can do? And how can you do only that? And I hope that kind of encourages you then as well. The beauty of it is you don't need a, an expensive camera, you don't need equipment, you don't need um, an expensive training or anything like that in order for you to achieve your purpose. Just follow God every step, one by one. Because when I started out, I didn't have this behind me. It's just a simple room, my room. This same room naman. I didn't have a camera like this, na mirrorless. What I had was a point-and-shoot camera na medyo pabulok na. Um, wala akong editing software. Wala akong kahit ano. Wala akong knowledge of anything. Hindi ako marunong mag-tag. Gumamit ng tags on YouTube. Hindi ako marunong mag-share. Hindi ako marunong gumawa ng Facebook page just for that purpose. But all of these things are things that I learned as I went along. Because every day, I think, is a um, an opportunity to follow God. So yung growth ng Team Laika, growth ng Semina Natin, Influence Core, anything like that, this, this is purely God-given. Because when I post something out there, I don't post it naman to get likes or I don't post it to uh, have people uh, make it go viral. The first two posts on my personal Facebook page that went viral, I didn't even know that that, that would happen. Kasi, uh, I just posted it, natulog ako, pagising ko na umaga, um, nag hundreds of thousands of shares, ganyan-ganyan siya. Hindi ko siya sinasadya. So, I never intended for that to happen. I, and I never chased after that again. I never thought na, okay, itong post na to mag-viral to, so gagawin ko. Hindi ganun. Mapapagod kasi if you do that eh. Pero if you make up, if you write a post, if you post something, if you make a video, and ang goal mo lang is just to put it out there, kahit na walang manood, just um, kasi I wanted to maybe put a little drop of positivity in the world, then that in itself is your reward. Hindi ka na mapapagod, hindi ka ma-frustrate. And if people recognize your work for, for what you did or if you if they appreciate what you do, bonus na lang yun. So every time someone tells me na, Coach, uh, yung video mo na yun na motivate ako or naging positive, yung thinking, yung mindset ko, nag-iba or some people even uh, told me last week na thank you for the for the for the videos that you make kasi it made me parang have a closer relationship with God. 
those things don't fail to su surprise me because at the moment that was never uh, my first goal my first goal was just to avoid obey god do what i can maybe share a little bit of positivity in the world so yung mga ba balik na ganun bonus lang talaga siya and it makes me so happy really so again i hope i answered that question kahit medyo nag ramble on ako it's just so hard to talk about these things kasi but again as a young person, if you're watching this, if you want to have influence online, if you want to write a blog or start a vlog channel or make videos or anything like that, same things that I do. Um, I want you to find your voice, find who you are, find who your God is muna in your life. And then if you do that, if you share that, that would be easier. In the Bible, it says that if you put, put the name of Jesus up, if you raise God's name up, if you raise Jesus' name up, He will draw men to you. So I think that is uh, in, uh, in a big part what happened to me. So all I did was ibalik kay Lord lahat ng binibigay sa akin, all the wisdom, all the positivity, all the hope galing kay God. So tinataas ko lagi siya na siyang gumawa nitong lahat. So when people get drawn to this, it's not really about me. It's about God and what He does in my life. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully nasagot ko yung tanong kahit medyo long-winded siya. And I hope you picked something up from this video. God bless guys and uh, if you want me to answer one of your questions or if you want to ask for advice, you can always hit me up www.facebook.com slash Marivilla. If you want uh, more video lessons on uh, the civil service exam, OPCAT, LAELET or anything like that, you can go to www.facebook.com slash teamlaika. Thank you guys for watching. God bless you and again, don't chase after fame. Go and pursue your calling. Have a great day. Bye for now.